Hey guys, Chris here, and coming to the review table today is a long-awaited review that I've been I've been wanting to do since I've started my channel. Um, it's kind of one I've been planning to do. It is the Ontario SP1, and right now it's not one to open. Huh? This snap has not got a ton of usage. This particular snap on it. This is the Spec Plus. Let's see, let's see that Spec Plus Marine SP1-95. Now, the reason I've wanted to do this review for so long and haven't had a chance to do it. I don't, well, I've, it's not that I haven't had a chance to do it. I've, I've had plenty of time. I just haven't got a chance to do it. The reason I've wanted to do it for so long. It's because I've had this knife probably longer than any other knife I've had. Um, I've had this knife since I was, well, age 13. The rest of my knives prior to then, I, I've if I, I've owned knives before then, but I've lost them. I got this at age 13, so 15 years ago, if you're doing the math. Um, and that's, what, 1994? six or so. I actually got this at a gun show. This was something that I just had to have. I looked in for years and years at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Dad, this is a cool knife. This is what I really, really want. I was at Boy Scouts and I'd been handling knives quite responsibly for some time and he decided that, you know, if it was my money, he was going to condone letting me go ahead and get a big knife, a big sheath knife, something that I could use for the rest of my life. And this has been true to form. I have hacked tree limbs down with this. I have gutted deer with it. I have, you name it, this knife has been through it. This is the ultimate torture test. This thing has run a 13-year torture test in my hands. There's some slight rusting along the edge of the blade which I'm going to buff out here shortly because I haven't been carrying it more recently. I actually sharpened the back swedge. It does have a nice edge to it. I've had to sharpen it several times over the years as you could imagine. But this SP1 is as tough as they come. This is one of the best knives for the for the buck, in my opinion. If you're looking for a marine-style fighting knife, look no further. That Ontario SP1 at $43 is a great, great buy. Uh, some of the specs on it are going to be as follows. The newer SP1 Gen 2s still hold pretty much or the later gens still hold pretty much true to form very very similar in style uh, actually almost identical in style the sheath is the only thing that's different the overall blade length is going to be uh, 12.125 inches or I'm sorry the overall knife length is 12.125 inches the overall blade length is 7 inches now this knife if you can find a better knife that runs a full tang that that you can just beat and thump and bounce right back I'm surprised and amazed that I haven't broken the tip on this yet because I've batoned with it I have stabbed with it I have in fact actually need to sharpen up the tip just a little bit actually I take that back uh, but it is a 19 or I'm sorry 1095 high carbon steel that this wonderful blade is made out of it does not car come with the back swedge sharpened that is my own mod the handle is made from Creighton uh, nice high density uh, material. The uh, blade 
is epoxy coated so that accounts for a lot of the durability you can see a small nick in the epoxy right there and one there as well but over 13 years of abuse or 15 years of abuse you would assume that there would be more wear at least most people would this actually resides oddly enough wedged in between my box spring and mattress on the back side of my headboard where I can still have access to it in the middle of the night if there were need be granted there are firearms and much more lethal deterrence uh, closer at hand but that's something this is something that has written by my bedside with that particular setup for the past decade uh, that's where I've where I've held it where it's been middle of the night let's get up and rock and roll uh, and my SP1 has been there Ontario is known for making some great knives this lanyard is standard uh, came standard with this knife everything that you see here is standard it does have the sh on the sheath the back is leather the front is nylon and put it this way when I got this knife my thumb dexterity and f overall physical strength was not to the point where I could snap that snap right there could not force it to stretch and meet to where it would class together. I was I was a young buck then. This one, a little bit different story. But this sheath is extremely durable. I put it through hell and back. Anytime we go on camping adventures, pretty much 90% of the time, this is riding along on my other hip, my one hip. I've got my uh, outside my holster. And then on the other hip is my Ontario SP1. I do utilize the shoelace for this tie strap. This also came with, with the sheath. Held, held up surprisingly well. The stitching is just great. The rivets help hold the sheath together. There's been no separation of the sheath. It's just amazing how well this knife has held up over the years and it's been thrashed like I said quite a bit uh, I mean there's probably other people out there that are putting you know, knives through more hell in less years but for medium for a medium duty use knife over the course of a 15 year period you know, what do you expect I mean there, there's not much else that holds up better than this this blade right here is one of my favorites so like I said I've been wanting to do this review since I started my channel day one I've, I've had it on my list of things to do I've just finally gotten around to doing it guys you can't go wrong with the Ontario SP1 either find it through a gun show I think I back in the mid 90's I got this around twenty dollars now I'm looking at it online I'm finding it around forty three dollars consistently you can probably find it cheaper in the mid 30s but 43 seems to be that uh, going price it's just a just a great weapon so if you all have any questions comments please let me know if there's anything I missed I'll try to add it in alright guys I'll have a good day